Well, your resume is impressive, but what would you say is your greatest weakness? I daydream constantly about living by the water, the warm sun, oh. in a dynamic city with amazing food and craft breweries, weekend events, okay, with tons of jobs, less stress, awesomely affordable neighborhoods. That sounds glorious. Stop daydreaming and get to Tampa Bay for high-wage jobs in finance, tech, and more, all under the warm Florida sun. Find Florida's most bright opportunities at MakeItTampaBay.com. Have a question or need how-to advice? Just ask Meta AI. Whether you want to design a marathon training program or you're curious what planets are visible in tonight's sky, Meta AI has the answers. It can also summarize your class notes, visualize your ideas, and so much more. It's the most advanced AI at your fingertips. Expand your world with Meta AI. Now on Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Messenger. Greetings and welcome to America in Focus, powered by the Center Square. I'm Dan McCaleb, Chief Content Officer at Franklin News Foundation, publisher of the Center Square Newswire service. We are recording this on Friday, June 28th. Two federal judges this week ruled to block part of President Joe Biden's recent attempt to indefinitely postpone or cancel nearly half a trillion dollars in student loan debt. It would be just the latest ruling against Biden's student loan cancellation policies. Joining me to discuss this is Casey Harper, the Center Square's Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief. Casey, you you wrote about these uh, two federal judges' decisions this week. Tell us more. Sure. I mean, uh, when it comes to forgiving student loan debt, Biden is the little engine that could, right? He is uh, really uh, trying it one way or the other, this way or that. He has been smacked down by the U.S. Supreme Court pretty famously with national attention um, when they ruled that his last attempt to just cancel student loan debt at such a broad scale, they said was, you know, he he went too far because he tried to take a small provision in a, a bill and expand it, basically change the meaning of it to forgive student loans all around the country. And now um, this time around, he's been he's been stopped once again, as you said, by two separate judges um, who, for different reasons, basically put this plan on hold. But and this is no small amount of money; it'd be almost you know half a trillion dollars right. that would be canceled. And that word "canceled" is interesting, Dan. I mean, I, we know it's really not necessarily the most necessarily the most accurate way to talk about this because that cost is really just transferred on to taxpayers as right. a whole. Right? That money doesn't just disappear. It's somebody has to um, either not receive that payment or you know, make that payment and is the U.S. taxpayers, right? And that's kind of the the point. Besides the question of does the president have this authority, that is the, the consistent argument that the Biden administration is running up against. And the criticism um, is that, you know, regular Americans are paying the debt of college students who, who oftentimes have better paying jobs because they went to college, right? So the welder, the truck driver, the machinist is paying the uh, the college debt for the communications major who works in a, a PR job in New York now, right? Or I mean, the lawyer, so, the doctor, mm-hmm, or, exactly. Or, yeah, lawyers or, and doctors. Um, studies have shown stand to benefit the most from these plans, actually. And so, of course, student loan debt is a huge problem in this country. It's the, the debt is overwhelming. There's a lot of questions about the cost of tuition, how inflated that is by these universities, which have huge endowments and then just run up these tuitions every year. I think there's a lot of good questions that should be asked and looked into. But as for President Biden himself trying to single-handedly, you know, quote unquote, solve this problem, he's once again being, you know, slapped down in the courts. And and I'm not sure he's going to be able to really get anything substantive through before, at least before this election. Yeah, it was well over a year ago, Casey, that the the, the U.S. Supreme Court weighed in on his one of his first uh, student loan transfers, as you call them. We, we use, as you mentioned, I, I agree with you. We use the word cancellation, canceling student loan debt, but it's really a transfer of student loan debt from the the borrower to the taxpayer. But the Supreme Court weighed in, but that did not deter Trump, or excuse me, deter Biden from um, um, putting in place other student loan transfer plans. Now you have two more judges weighing in on saying, uh, no, you can't do this. Is, do you think that's going to stop the Biden administration? Well, I mean, they're going to, I think they're going to keep fighting an appeal. They're going to try to find other ways. They have successfully forgiven smaller um, chunks, I guess you call it smaller portions of the large, you know, 
debt burden. They've done these small announcements where they're forgiving using federal programs, kind of changing them or tweaking them to forgive, you know, a few billion here, a, you know, a couple dozen billion there. But this plan is, you know, we're talking almost half a trillion. I think he's going to keep fighting it. Uh, I don't really expect him necessarily be to be successful. Maybe he'll be partially successful. But, you know, and this is kind of moving into the political analysis side, Dan, but I don't think that Biden necessarily needs to be successful um, for, from his vantage point. I, I think what we've seen in this administration is a strategy of just announcing major policy changes from the White House that really appeal to the Democratic base even though they're not constitutional. And so then when the courts overturn them, Biden can say, well, I did everything I could. It's the courts that stopped me. We saw this, of course, with student loans. Uh, We saw it with the moratorium on evicting people. You know, Biden basically said, you can't evict anyone in the U.S. anymore. And the that was really popular with part of his base. But then, of course, the courts overturned it. But by that point, he'd already scored the political points for making the announcement. So I think we're seeing that uh, even if you know the court stopped this, it's like, man, Biden really tried to forgive our student debt. If he gets elected, maybe he'll find a way to do it. I think that's what he wants voters to think. He really wants the political credit. He did this. You know, this is an election year, and amongst all the issues that are happening, there are many on which Biden has you know struggled on. We're talking about student debt, and if Biden's going to be successful in forgiving student debt, so in a certain way, he is succeeding in keeping his efforts to forgive student debt to remain in the conversation throughout his almost his entire administration. Thank you for joining us today, Casey. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. Well, your resume is impressive, but what would you say is your greatest weakness? I daydream constantly about living by the water, the warm sun, oh. in a dynamic city with amazing food and craft breweries, weekend events, okay, with tons of jobs, less stress, awesomely affordable neighborhoods. That sounds glorious. Stop daydreaming and get to Tampa Bay for high-wage jobs in finance, tech, and more, all under the warm Florida sun. Find Florida's most bright opportunities at MakeItTampaBay.com. We all have our own behind-the-wheel persona. Are you a windows-down, sing-along-to-your-favorite-song, seat-lean-back kind of driver? Or perhaps an AC-blasting, podcast-on-hugging-the-wheel kind of driver? However you move through life, Atlantic Union Bank is on board because we agree things should be done your way, especially banking. Work with someone you trust who's there when you need them for all the ways you bank. Call, schedule a video appointment, or make a pit stop at an Atlantic Union Bank branch to learn more. Atlantic Union Bank. Any way you bank. Have a question or need how-to advice? Just ask Meta AI. Whether you need to summarize your class notes or want to create a recipe with the ingredients you already have in your fridge, Meta AI has the answers. You can also research topics, explore interests, and so much more. It's the most advanced AI at your fingertips. Expand your world with Meta AI. Now on Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Messenger.